MR coils. What are the MR coils? In MR imaging, there are different types of coils. RF coils, gradient coils, same coils, magnet coils. And this is the schematic diagram of the coils. So, inside the magnet, there are gradient coils and the inside the gradient coils, there are again the RF coils. So, these are the RF coils, X gradient coil, Z gradient coil, and Y gradient coil. So, the MR tomograph is composed of five coils. So, this is the experiment of the NMR. There is the transmit and the receive pulse. So, RF pulse when given having equal amplitude, then NMR signal is received having on equal amplitude that is decreasing amplitude this is the figure showing in phase precession where we receive the NMR signal and there is out of phase precession where received the NMR signal RF calls RF coils are used for transmitting the energy and receiving the signals in MRI. They are the critical component in a MRI system which is an electrical device generally composed of multiple wire loops that are either generate a magnetic field or detect a changing magnetic field as an electrical current induced in the wire. So, Inside the RF coil, the RF coils are enclosed by the seeming coils and seeming coils, again gradient coils and the main magnet. RF coil, gradient coil, and seeming coil and the magnet. In a MR imaging, RF coils are used for the purpose of the transmission and the reception of the signal. A transmitter excites the magnetization vector while the receiver detects the signal that arises from the relaxation of the magnetization and image encoding. The electrical and the magnetic phenomenon in MRI related with these events are described by Maxwell's equations. Types of MR coils there are three types of MR coils, transmit receive coil, receive only coil, and transmit only coil. A transmit and receive coil can both send and receive a B1 field and receive RF energy from image samples. A transmit only coil is used only to create a B1 field. A receive only coil is especially used to detect signals from the image subject. This is an illustration showing the brief transmitting and receiving concept of a RF coil. After providing a transmitting excitation RF pulse, the current source within a RF coil induces a B1 field inside the subject, which is called transmitting. In the next figure, the induced current in an RF coil is generated by the magnetization in the image subject and this phenomenon is called receiving. Kirchhoff's law provides a basic concept of RF coils as resonators in MRI application, an equivalent circuit of a, of a single loop RF surface coil. Principle of reciprocity According to this principle, the sensitivity of a coil used to receive, used as a receiver to detect the magnetization at a point is proportional to the efficiency of that coil when used a transmitter to generate a RF field at the same location. In other words, a good receiver is a good transmitter. LCR circuit and resonators. The main equipment to have a RF coil effective for imaging is to build a circuit that is tuned to a frequency of interest that is the Larmor frequency depending on the nucleus to be detected and the main magnetic field strength. RF coils are nothing 
but are described as the LCR circuits. LCR circuits is an oscillator forcing the current to oscillate at the resonating frequency. A resonate circuit is achieved when at a certain frequency the imaginary components of the impedance of the coil cancel each other. When the coil is resonating, the reactance is zero and inductance and capacitance cancel each other. At the resonant frequency, the reactance is a purely resistive value. The energy in the circuit oscillates. It can be stored as magnetic energy in the conductor's inductance or as electrical energy in the capacitor. Losses When the RF coil is at resonance, the reactance parts of the components are cancelled and there is an energy dissipation through the resistance generated in the circuit. To reduce losses, thus capacitors are distributed at several positions in the circuit. Matching To transmit the signal detected by the RF coil, the coil is connected to a preamplifier through a transmission line, usually a coaxial cable. A transmission line has a characteristic impedance. In order to have an effective power transfer, it is crucial to match the impedance of the coil and the coaxial cable. Typically, 50 ohm of resistance is the impedance value to which the components match. On match circuits result in a reflection of the signal. Decoupling. When multiple coils are placed near each other, they interact. From Faraday's induction law, the EMF of one coil induces current in the other. During transmission, the receiver coil disturbs the homogeneity of the magnetic field and thus the artifacts may arise. During reception, the SNR of the receiver coil decreases. To prevent coupling the resonating at the same resonant frequency, the coils are detuned by using P-ion diode. There are various types of RF coils, surface coil, volume coil, phase array coil, solenoid coil, quadrature coil, and Helmholtz coil. Surface coil. A surface coil is the most basic and the fundamental RF coil systems in MRI, which include single loop and multiple loop coils of various shapes. These coils are usually much smaller than the other types of coil system. Thus, it has higher SNR because they receive noises only from nearby regions. Surface coil placed on or around the surface of a patient. Receiver system brought closer to patient. Detects noise from limited volume. Has a good SNR for superficial tissues. Increasing used in MRI. These figures shows the surface coils. A surface coil is a receiver coil with a definite area of sensitivity from which it receives the signal. Outside the area, it receives minimal signal. This configuration provides SNR because the signal received from a smaller specific area and less noisier than volume coils such as the body coil. The sensitivity area relates to the diameter of the coil. By increasing the coil size, the area of sensitivity also decreases. When advantage of surface coils is their optimum sensitivity for tissue close to the coil. Image intensity fades. However, as distance between the coil and the region of interest increases. Signal detection with surface coils. The spins produce a net field vector that rotates in a plane around the magnet's z-axis. Since the vector rotates, the signal is described as circularly polarized. The net field vector can be resolved into two orthogonal oscillating vectors that can be oriented in any direction in a plane orthogonal to the magnet's z-axis as long as the two vectors remain orthogonal. When one vector is maximum, the other is minimum. Linear coils are the receive-only devices sensitive to only one oscillating vector. As the rotating vector aligns with the coil, the signal peaks. When the magnetization vector unaligns with the coil, the signal is at its weakest. 
A coil operating in this way is said to be linearly polarized. Linear coils are now found mostly as components in phased array units such as CTL spine coils, that is cervical thoracic lumbar spine coils. Signal detection with linear coils. As vector 1 becomes aligned with the coil as 360 degree and 180 degree, the strong signal is strong. When the factor orientation changes to the 90 degree to 70 degree axis, the signal from vector 2 is lost. Two opposed linear coils can be connected together for more uniform coverage of the volume, but they still are only sensitive to one oscillating vector. Volume coils. Volume coils are used for surrounding either the whole body or a specific region. Used for the phantom of bigger volume, has better magnetic field homogeneity than surface coil. These are the surface coil. Board case coil is also a surface coil, which is used for brain imaging. Volume coils basically include solenoid coils, saddle coils, and high pass and low pass board case coils. Within these coils, the board case coils are most popular because they can produce better homogeneous B1 field over a large volume within the coil. Volume coils are usually used for surrounding the whole body or a specific region because they can cover larger imaging area and provide better magnetic field homogeneity in a large area than the surface coils. A volume coil is usually used for brain and joints and also wrist or knee joints. Face array coils. An array coil combines the advantages of a smaller surface coil and a larger coil which can provide higher SNR and cover a large imaging area. This type of RF coil consists of a multiple small coils, 4 or 6, which can be used individually or simultaneously. When an array coil is used individually, it can be considered as an individual signal coil. When it is used simultaneously, there are three different types that can be utilized. Coupled array coils, electrically coupled to each other through common transmission lines. Isolated array coils, electrically isolated from each other with separate transmission lines and receivers. Phased array coils, multiple small coils arranged to efficiently cover a specific anatomic region and obtain high resolution, high signal to noise ratio in larger volume. Advantages are produce very good SNR, disadvantage is the expansive and long process time. So these are some of the configurations for the volume coil, linear coil, rectangular one, circular one, overlapped one, 12 quadrature elements to 8 receivers. The 8 channel CTL spine array coil features 12 elements leading to 8 receivers. Phased array technology takes advantages of the multi-channel imaging which produces increased SNR over linear and quadrature coils. <laughs> a phased array coil achieves the sensitivity of a small surface coil over a larger FOV. The development of phased array coils have improved MR image quality and expanded the applications for MR imaging. As the number of channels increases, the elements become smaller and the penetration may be compromised. Additionally, SNR may increase near the surface of the coil but not deep within the patients. On the other hand, reducing coil diameter and adding elements can deliver a dramatic increase in SNR. Solenoid coil Multiple turn solenoid and single turn solenoid the strength of the magnetic field of the solenoid coil is determined by the number of loops, the amount of current and the material inside the core. Produce very good magnetic field homogeneity. This is the solenoid coil. Quadrature coil. Two perpendicular loops of wires. 
two preamplifiers receive two signals which have 90 degree phase difference so increase the SNR by root 2 and reduces the pulse power by half provides the best field homogeneity of all the RF imaging coils so these are the board case coils phased array elements uh, also the QD body array coil and the spine array coils signal detection with quadrature coils the illustration shows the quadrature pair with the two signals not in phase next illustration shows the quadrature signal note that when one vector is at maximum signal the other is at minimum signal the simplest way uses a special quadrature combiner which combines the signals while taking the phase difference a coil operating in this way is called circularly polarized SNR can be improved with quadrature coils by as much as 40% for volume designs since these coils require only one receiver this technology is simple and relatively inexpensive Helmut's coil pair of circular coils with same radius same current flowing in the same direction and same common axis widely used in MRI because of its fairly uniform magnetic field this is the Helmut's coil what happens when RF is applied after the application of the RF pulse the spins which were rotating in phase and in the transverse plane will eventually restore the equilibrium state in a process known as relaxation the relaxation mechanism depends on spin interaction with the surroundings and behave differently in different tissues the relaxation of excited spins is based on two events the realignment of the net magnetization with the main magnetic field due to loss of energy absorbed during the excitation and the dephasing of the spins which are in phase coherence when the RF pulse is applied gradient coil the main magnet causes a strong static and substantially uniform magnetic field with a tesla with a strength of few tesla the gradient system incorporates three spatially independent and time controllable gradient fields which are significantly smaller than the main field the gradient fields are normally expressed in milli tesla per meter the amplitude of the total field determines the larmer frequency the linearity of the gradient fields is measured by the variation of the gradients in x y and z direction and are named gx gy and gz gradient coils gradient coils are characterized by strain 23 milli tesla per meter slew rate 120 tesla per meter per second rise time 192 microsecond duty cycle 100 percent eddy current compensation active for the reconstruction of image the gradient coils have three important functions selection of a slice location by use of frequency encoding location by use of phase encoding selection of a slice is done by slice encoding gradient these are the x y and z direction gradient coils and their configuration what happens when the gradient field is applied first the slice selection gradient is switched on and together with the RF pulse it defines a slice to determine the position within the slice now other gradients are applied if subsequently the phase encoding gradient is switched on the spins will have their resonant frequencies and hence their rate of precession is altered according to their position along the y-axis when the phase encoding gradient is switched off now the spins at points along the y-axis again begin to process at same frequency however their phase will no longer be the same the frequency encoding gradient when switched on now causes the excited nuclei to process at increasing frequency along the x-axis this is the simple diagram of a pulse sequence uh, RF pulse is applied that is the 90 degree RF pulse and there is the 
FID that is free induction decay signal. GSS means the slice selection gradient which is applied simultaneously with the RF pulse of 90 degree. After GSS, phase encoding gradient is applied. And after phase encoding gradient, readout gradient is applied. So this shows the spatial encoding by gradient fields. The spins tend to lie at the direction which gradient is switched on. Types of RF coil. These are the advanced RF coil, silver RF coil, cryogenic RF coil, high temperature superconducting RF coil. Basically RF coil is made of copper but silver is usually used to replace the conventional copper material to manufacture a RF coil because of its low resistivity than copper. The resistance of a silver RF coil is smaller than the resistance of a copper RF coil in the same configuration. Thus, the SNR acquired by using silver coil would be higher than the SNR acquired by using copper coil. Cryogenic RF coil. The SNR would be enhanced by reducing the temperature of a cryogenic coil. Liquid nitrogen is the most used medium to cool down the temperature of a RF coil to temperature of 77 Kelvin. High temperature superconducting RF coil. The SNR can be improved by reducing the noise of a coil and the temperature of a coil. High temperature superconducting material is applied to the RF coils to provide much lower coil resistance, almost zero while the high temperature superconducting RF coil achieves the superconducting status in the critical low temperature. Seeming Because the magnet itself is not adequately homogeneous, it is necessary to improve or seem the homogeneity of the static magnetic field. Like in radiography, patient is the major source of scattered radiation in MRI, also, patient is the major source of inhomogeneity. Seeming or adjustment of the static magnetic field is accomplished by two methods, passive seeming and active seeming. The static magnetic field is passively seamed by the placement of iron plates in the bore of the magnet. The iron plates offset the effect of external ferromagnetic objects and other sources of inhomogeneity. This is how passive seaming is done. Active seaming requires passes of electric current through coils with unique geometric configurations. The seam coils are designed to correct inhomogeneities of a specific geometry. The seam coils are typically named XY, XY, XZ, ZY, Z, X square, Y square, and so on. Seam coils may be placed inside of the cryostat superconducting seams or inside the bore of the magnet. Resistive seams. Resistive seams are typically water cooled. Modern magnets use superconducting seams. Seaming. Because the patient tissues become somewhat magnetized, the nice homogeneity established by seaming is perturbed when a patient is placed in the magnet. The gradient coils can be used to re-establish the good homogeneity. RF shielding. Copper foil laminates are typically used. Only one electrical ground point, single point ground. Wing windows are usually covered with cover copper mesh Faraday case. Typical attenuation of Faraday case is 80 to 100 decibel from 1 MHz to 100 MHz. Parallel imaging. As shown previously, no image from a single surface coil element is optimally sensitive over the whole area. However, an image reconstructed from all coil elements lead to an increased SNR over a standard acquisition. 
because each region of the image is reasonably sampled by more than one element. If SNR is higher than needed, one can use the technique of parallel imaging to increase the acquisition speed. But how is we can decrease the sampling of data by each element receiver, also reduce sampling, less RF excitations per unit time, which also lower the specific absorption rate. Decreased sampling of data means decreased case space sampling. For example, in brain imaging, the right cerebral hemisphere is acquired by one coil and the left cerebral hemisphere is acquired by one coil. That means another coil. So when the data from both coils are combined, then we get the full image. What are the parameters of RF coil? SNR, quality factor, coil sensitivity, coil homogeneity, filling factor, and the effective range. SNR, the signal in MRI comes from the transverse magnetization of protons in materials and induce a voltage signal S in the RF coil. S is determined by the volume of the phantom, the Larmor frequency, the radio frequency pulse, B1 field, and the static magnetic field. The random noise is produced by the resistance in the circuit, which is determined by the bandwidth. When frequency increases, the SNR increases. What is quality factor? It is defined as the maximum energy stored in the magnetic field to the energy dissipated per cycle. When resonant condition is satisfied, the output voltage is Q times the input voltage. The SNR is the ratio between the amount of signal detected based on magnetization and the strength of the magnetic field to the amount of noise based on the thermodynamic principle. Resonant systems respond to frequencies close to their natural frequency much more strongly than they respond to other frequencies. The Q factor indicates the amount of resistance to resonance in a system. Systems with higher Q factor resonate with greater amplitude than systems with low Q factor at resonant frequency. In a resonance si system, the Q factor is defined as the resonant frequency divided by the bandwidth. Coil sensitivity defined as how weak signals the coil can detect. The higher the coil sensitivity, the lower signal we can detect. The higher the coil sensitivity, the higher volume of noise and the lower SNR is. So coil sensitivity is not uniform within the coil. Position closer to the coil has a higher sensitivity. Coil homogeneity. The electromagnetic waves decrease, disperse as the distance increases. Thus, the magnetic field B1 produced by RF coil is not homogeneous. The coil homogeneity is dependent on the geometric shape of coil and affects the image quality directly. Solenoid coils have the best coil homogeneity and the surface coils have the worst one. Filling factor, the ratio of the volume of phantom to the volume of coils. Increasing filling factor can improve SNR. Effective range, the space area that coils can transmit or receive RF signals. The bigger the effective range is, the more volume that we detect. The more FOB is, but the lower SNR is. For example, whole volume coils have the biggest effective range, but have the lowest SNR. Arterial spin leveling coil, ASL, is a magnetic resonance technique that can measure non-invasively brain perfusion, blood delivery to a capillary bed tissue in particular cerebral blood flow. Cerebral blood flow measurement is an indicator of cerebral metabolism and neuronal function allowing access to information about tissue viability and the function. A cell coil is placed on the neck surface where the carotid arteries the target structures for labeling are placed. Coil sap and dimensions are chosen according to the carotid positions and to produce the B1 field, which has penetration depth that allows carotid leveling. 
sodium transmit receive coil surface coil with higher SNR also useful to include proton imaging capabilities micro imaging coil circularly polarized volume coil at 750 MHz called as Leeds gauge field homogeneity and SNR are comparable to board gauge coil traveling wave RF system in conventional MR RF system, the signal detection is based on Faraday induction between the RF coil and the image sample, which requires one or multiple RF coils to be closer to the sample. The traveling wave RF system is a novel MRI RF system that can excite and receive signals by long range interaction, which is developed based on traveling RF waves transmitted and received by an antenna. No need of gradients at all. It can provide more uniform coverage of samples that are larger than the wavelength of the MRI signal and the conventional RF coils that are close to a sample are no longer needed. So this is the concept of traveling wave RF system. Traditional resonant probes transmit RF wave within the sample. It generates B field that causes nutation of nuclear magnetization. But here, in this approach, an antenna probe is utilized to receive the signal from sample through a traveling wave. In a wide bore high field magnet, such waves can be guided by a conductive lining permitting remote MRI excitation and detection with an antenna at the end of the magnet. Coil Selection Tips Match the coil to the anatomy or area of interest. This will optimize the SNR for the desired scan time. Match the FOB to the size of the coil or the number of coil elements selected. If the receipt coil is larger than the FOB, signal from tissues outside the FOB can be aliased into the FOB. Smaller coils reduce the area of coverage, yet increase the inherent SNR of image and therefore fewer signal averages are needed. Coil Positioning Choose the coil most appropriate for the corresponding anatomy of interest and required FOB. Landmark on the coil marker, not on the patient anatomy. If the coil has multiple configuration, select the appropriate number of elements according to the area that need to be covered. Select a coil configuration and FOB based on the number of elements chosen. Non-uniformity of signal. The RF signal detects signals closest to it most efficiently. These characteristics may cause non-uniformity of signal in the image. The coil effect. The effect is more pronounced with surface coils than with volume coils and appearing as localized bright areas close to the coil. Coil sensitivity correction techniques can also be applied to correct the non-uniformities in signal. RF inhomogeneity. Failure of an RF coil can cause intensity variation across an image. This often indicates the failure of a coil element or the presence of ferromagnetic material in the imaged object. Peripheral signal artifacts. These appear as either bright spots or as ribbons of signal smeared through the image. Signals are generated outside the desired FOB and the receiver is able to detect them, such as a star artifact, bright spot, or any facts, ribbon. Star artifact signal which appear as bright star close to the middle of the image originate very far from isocenter. An effect appears in fast spin echo scans as smeared light ghosting signal through the image in the phase direction. It typically appears on societal spines or pelvis scans using a phase array surface coil. Like a star artifact, it originates far from isocenter where the gradients are non-linear. So these are the star artifact in the spine imaging and another one is the anifract these are the references thank you so much